Yo, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the brochure. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make the submission mini game easier. All right. So this is what you want to do. First, you want to go to the gameplay settings, and then you want to go to allowed held input for mini games. What this is gonna do, you don't have to rapidly press that mini game button like a hundred times just to attempt to win. All you gotta do is just hold it down. So, I set up a match, The Fiend versus Cody Rhodes, and to show you guys how this works, so you can see how this submission mini game works when you just hold it. We're about to soften them up some, and now we're going to hit him with our SIG, hit him with that pedigree, boom, I hit him with the pedigree, and then I tried to hit the, I tried to lock in a submission. This is, I set up a submission only match, so... As you, all I had to do is hold it. It looks like I'm tapping it, but it just says hold. So all you have to do is just hold it. It'll do the moving for you. So the more damage they take, it, the easier it's gonna be to tap them out. As you know, as you know, when you're just trying to rapidly press it. So let's send with this crossroads. Boom. And now let's try to make the tap out again. All right. We got it locked in. And look, I'm holding it. And look, he's about to tap out. He's about to tap out. He's about to tap out. Come on. Oh, no. He's just resilient. Let's see. It's alright. It's alright, though. It's alright. We got this. So, yes. It's way easier, in my opinion, to try to make him tap out by just holding it. With the tapping one, you gotta press, 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 press. Quickly switch. Press, 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 press. And it's just a lot, especially if you don't have quick thumbs like me. I have eh, semi quick, you know, but it's best if you just. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to hit him with the Cody Cutter. Let me see if I can do it. Bro, right, you know, let's bring him back in the ring. Alright, got him back in the ring. Let's try this. I'm going to try to hit the Cody Cutter. But like I'm saying, it's easier to try to make him tap out with this. You just got to hold it after doing a lot of damage to him. And it's a little easier than tap, trying to rapidly press it if you're not, you know, if you're, you know, not that good at tapping it. It's way easier to just try to make them tap out via holding the button down. So, I'm going to come back to y'all. Wait, hold up. Not yet. Yeet. But yeah, so, way easier. Cody Cutter. All right. Let's see if we can make him tap out. Oh, this is it. This is game over. Alright, so like I said, we're just holding the button. We're not tapping it. We're hoping we can tap him out. Nah. He's not going to tap. Oh. Reverse that. Come on, Fiend, bro. Don't try me. Oh, he got back up. But into this crossroads, though. Alright, let's see. Can we make him tap out now? Let's see. He's gonna tap. He's gonna tap. Oh yeah, he's tapping. He's about to tap out. Uh, yes, he taps out. All right, that was. Uh, I don't know if that was. It was easy for me. I didn't really have to press it. I just had to hold it down. So it's definitely. Uh, you gotta hold it down to really, you know, and it'll move on its own. You don't have to worry about rapidly pressing it. Uh, it works for casket matches and ableist matches, so go test it out. See if it helps you guys. If it does, let me know by leaving by subscribing to the channel, leaving a like, or commenting on this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.